Hey guys, we're going to do a video covering breeding. Uh, this is going to be the second one in the kind of little mini series. In our last video, we went over the egg groups and why they're important to the different aspects of breeding. Well, today we're going to do a quick tutorial of breeding a Pokemon from the ground up with the intent to sell it. Since we looked at Squirtle last time, I'm going to be going over breeding a possibly four IV natured Squirtle with the egg move water spout. So first, of course, we would need the Squirtle and I already have one. So we're just going to pop over into the box. We actually have two of them. They're already female and they already have a perfect IV. So we're off to a really great start. Now, I don't remember how much these cost to uh, get. I bought them off the GTL a good while ago, um, and they've just been sitting in my box. So, unfortunately, I'm not able to add that cost in to the breeding cost we'll be looking at today, but we do have them. So, the next thing we're going to look at is the Egg Move Water Spout. We need to know what Pokemon has Water Spout. So, if we go to the GTL, which you can just open it here, you can go to the advanced search and then has move and type in water spout and it pops up. You can click it and we're going to search it. So I like to go to the lowest because I don't like spending a lot of money. And we see that a whalemer is going to be our top result. However, there's a problem with this. Whalemer are in the field and water bee group, so it's not able to breed with a squirtle. That is when you need to find a Pokemon that can breed with both. So, to find the middle Pokemon, essentially, we need a Pokemon that can breed with Squirtle. So, it's either in Monster or Water A group. But it also needs to be able to breed with Whalmer. So, it would have to be in the Water B group as well. Rimmeraid fits perfectly. So, I've actually already grabbed one. And it's got a perfect IV, just like the Whalmer. And I did have to switch because I realized in Unova I don't have the Daycare Man unlocked, unfortunately. Because we're going through the story, I've only gone to the second gym. So I popped over to Johto where I normally do all my work anyways. So we have a Whalmer that's male, a Rimmeraid that's female. One has attack, the other one has speed. That will also give us a Pokemon with two IVs to breed with our Squirtle, who already has attack, so we'll be passing on that speed. We may breed it again so that we get another one, but we'll see. All right, so next we need to look at the setup and mapping of how we're going to do this. The reason for that is breeding can be extremely costly, and mistakes are very costly. I actually just had that happen with my little shroomish. And now I have an extra 5 IV alpha Pokemon that doesn't really sell that well. And I'm probably not going to use for a while. So you always want to map things out carefully. We know that we need Rimmeraid to breed with our Squirtle. So that we can end up with a Squirtle. And we can pass on the egg move. Before that we need Rimmeraid to breed with Whalmer. In order for it to end up being a Rimmeraid, it has to be female. So we know our Whalmer has to be male and our Rimmeraid has to be female. And whenever it comes out, we're gonna have a Rimmeraid that's going to end up being male so it can breed with our female Squirtle. It sounds really confusing. And the first couple of times it can be, there's a lot of online calculators you can use to help you and like guide you through the process. Or you can just write it out, which is what I normally do. Unless I'm being lazy, which is what happened with my little shroomish. At this point, you can go ahead and purchase the Pokemon materials that you're going to need for the breed using your map. So with Rimmeraid, we know that we can either get it with an IV and pass that along or not. Whalmer is the important one. We need to make sure it has water spout because that's what we need it to transfer. If it has a perfect IV like this one does, even better. It also depends on how much money you have. Personally, I check to see whichever option is the cheapest at the moment as it does fluctuate a little bit. 
You can buy a Remoraid that already has the move, but it is more costly, or it can be. And personally, if I can get it with the move plus two IVs, that's even better for my breeding. So I'm getting more for my money. So once you have the Pokemon and you can match up which ones are breeding first, you can go ahead and go over to the item man and get the necessary items. So for this one, we know we are transferring speed and attack. So we'll go ahead and get a power anklet for speed. And then we get the power bracer for attack. From there, we just need to equip them. So you just match it up. Attack goes with attack. So this one goes with Whalmer, and this one goes with the Remoraid. It's really that simple. This is probably the easiest part, though if you're half asleep or if you're just in a hurry, it is possible to mess it up. I've done it before. So after this, you go talk to the daycare man, and he's going to ask you a bunch of questions. You're not going to get these Pokemon back. Are you sure you'd like to trade? Yes. Okay. Here is one of the best features. You can see how everything's going to play out. So you can see that Water Spout will be transferred. You can see that you did the items right and the IVs are going to be transferred. You can also see the percentage of the chance of these stats. So we can get anywhere between a 14 and 16 for HP. We have a 75% chance of getting a 15. It's pretty great. So you can do all of these things, a lot of great features, but you always want to check this before you continue. Okay, so now that we've checked all this, we know it's transferring the IVs. We have water spout just like we need. We're going to go ahead and click breed. It's going to ask you, are you sure you won't get these Pokemon back? You do not get the Pokemon back, you get an egg. So that's one thing that is very, very different from the traditional games. You don't get to keep your Pokemon that you're breeding. You have to give them up. So make sure you're okay with that before you do a breed. We're going to click yes. Do we want a specific gender? Yes, because we know that we need a male in order for it to breed with our Squirtle. So yes, we prefer male. It's going to cost extra. That's fine. Depending on the percentage of that gender, it may cost more. So I know for Eevee, for example, is an extra 21k to make it female. Because there is a lower percentage of females in that species than males. So just make sure to look out for that whenever you're breeding as well. Because 21k is a pretty mighty big cost. Alright, we're just going to put in a great ball because apparently I'm out of Pokeballs again. I think that happened last time. All right, and then from here we just wait. So right now I have my egg hatcher in the first spot and you can see here it has flame body. So this egg is going to hatch faster with that ability on that Pokemon. So in Poke MMO, egg hatching isn't based off your steps. It's actually based off of time. So we've waited about Probably about a good three minutes uh, and I did that off camera see here we go so now our egg is hatching we got a remoraid no surprise okay so now as you can see I kept these tabs open down here I kind of like to just see how it turned out oh we got speed and special attack on for the jolly nature that's that's nice okay so that might actually be something we want to transfer to our squirtle I'm not too sure. Okay, so we got its stats. It got the 15. I got a high defense. Glad of, for that. So overall, I didn't do too bad. So I'll go ahead and close these at this point because this is now my base. Um, and then I'll open the next set tabs. We would need a speed one. So just go over here to this guy again. We get the anklet. We'll buy another one of those. Yeah, I definitely don't want that nature. So... We're going to go ahead and breed Squirtle again because we do want it to have multiple IVs. Okay, so we just go over here, monster or water A, and we need it male. Okay, so we're going to be breeding for attack, special attack, and speed. We know of for sure. We may add another one at some point, but those are the three I want to focus on. So looking at what is available in... Squirtle's egg group, which is monster and water A, 
we need a male. We can search it. We can see that the lowest Pokemon with two IVs that are the specific range that we need is $24.99. And it is a Pelipper. Okay. I'm going to see if there's anything cheaper in the monster group. And there's not. It's 28. So we're going to go back to the water A and see what we can find. Whenever you're breeding for most stats, 31, a lot of stats aren't too important. We know that HP is one that we haven't really considered yet, so I like to keep that pretty high. Defense is another one. I'm not sure if we're going to breed that as a 31, so I don't want it dipping into, say, a zero. All right, looking here, though, we have 17, 19, and 15 in the non-perfect stats, and then a 1 in speed. We know that our Remoraid has 31 in speed, and we'll be transferring that over, so that 1 doesn't really mean anything to us, and we can go ahead and get that one. So now that we have that one, we know that we're going to be breeding it with our Squirtle. So a lot of times, I'll just put them over here in this corner, so I can still see their IVs. I leave this one up so that I can see what the next breeding session is going to be. All right, so going over here, talking to this guy, I know we need special attack, and we're just gonna go ahead and equip that on the Wingle. So now we're gonna come out with a Squirtle that also has special attack as well as regular attack. So we just come out of here and we pop up here, talk to this guy again. We won't get these back, yes. Alrighty, so we have our Winkle, we have our Squirtle, and we have our attack, and we have our special attack, just like we wanted. We can see that our stats may get lowered a little bit, but that's okay because this isn't the last breeding session we're gonna do. So we're going to go ahead and continue. Yes, we want a specific gender because we need it female. And as you can see, a female Squirtle is also 21k. So, like I said, these breeds get pretty pricey, especially whenever you're going to the GTL to get your, your materials. A lot of people will go out and actually just farm the materials instead of buying it. I didn't really have time for that, so here I am. We're going to wait until that one hatches, and then we'll look at it again. All right, guys, so the egg is finally hatching, and we have our Squirtle. So, the lonely nature, I don't really like that, but it's whatever, we're gonna breed it again anyways. Okay, so our Squirtle hatched while we were off screen. I'm sorry about that. Mm, okay, so we got an impish nature. Considering we have a 31 in special attack, I don't think I wanna keep that, but we did get Water spout. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and close these two. We're gonna do our last breeding session. So you can either build up another Pokemon and then breed it with this one. That's usually the most cost effective. I'm just gonna go ahead and probably buy one on the GTL that can breed with it and has a good nature that I like. I am gonna search my box real quick for something I can use just in case. So I actually don't care for reading for nature that much. I normally just leave it up to chance simply because I could be passing along an IV or something like that and it, it kind of almost feels like a waste to me but that's just me personally. All right so we have nothing in the box so I'm gonna go here. Special attack. Okay that can that one's zero, zero sorry. And then speed we need it at least two of these and we need mail in either the monster or water a group and as you can see oh they're not too bad okay so 28 24 so about the same as we were these are pretty nice buffers so whenever i'm doing a breeding like this i also like i said look at the stats to make sure i'm going up instead of down if i'm not replacing it which we're just doing natured and then we're probably going to try to sell it off um i definitely don't want to go down so this one would not be a good as for nature, I like to keep it to the non-stat changing ones, but that's really up to you and how you want to build your Pokemon. I think, let me go ahead and look for 
Squirtle and what's the most common nature? So we can see Modest is a pretty common one depending on how you build it, I guess. Docile, Timid. Modest seems to be the one that is repeating the most. Got a couple quirky ones. Yeah, see Modest again, which takes away from attack, adds to special attack. Okay, so honestly, I think I'm going to go for a non-stat changing one just to be safe. We've got Quirky right here. Oh, never mind. Pops down to two. See, as you have to get pickier to make sure you're doing a good build, it gets more and more expensive. But I personally prefer to do it that way. So if we can get, let's say speed. I feel like speed's going to be the more expensive thing. So let's look for a 20 here. Defense, as long as we stay around 15, I guess that's not too bad. HP, 15. Okay, so we're going to do it with these parameters, and we can see we can get our HP up possibly, our defense up possibly, and our special defense up. So everything would go up possibly with this one, but I don't like its nature, so let's look for something similar. Naive. That's not too bad, and we've got 21 in defense, 26 in HP. 25 in special defense, so that's a possibility. I really wanted to keep it around a non-stat changing one, but price point wise versus what we're going to get, 50 to 70 is a pretty big jump. Though it does have a 30 in HP, so that's a possibility of us getting a 30. Um, defense wise, we wouldn't be going up too much, and we wouldn't be going up too much for special defense either. So I think we're just going to go my special attack. I think we might go for this one because it does add to the speed and we're not too worried about our special defense. So we'll go ahead and buy this one. Plus it has a particle. So that would be great to add to our Squirtle. And we're just going to go ahead, open this one, look at its stats, match them up. All right, I need to make sure that I have an Everstone, so we're just going to pop that on him real quick. And then we need the speed one for our Squirtle. There we go. All right. So hopefully this all goes well as we've mapped it out. But we will double check before we actually go into our breeding session. So whenever we are at the summary screen, which this one is definitely our time to double check everything. We've got our 31 in attack still. We have our 31 in special attack and we have our 31 in speed. So everything's getting transferred as it should. We still have water spout, so that's great. And we're gonna get the naive nature. So overall, this one's looking pretty good. Plus we get the particle effect. I think we're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and breed it. It won't get the hidden ability, but we didn't actually buy this Pokemon for the hidden ability. We also didn't buy it for the Squirtle to become an alpha because that's not how it works. So we're just going to go ahead and hit continue because we're not worried about those. You won't get the Pokemon back. Yes. All right. And then we're going to go to female. All right. So this one was pretty pricey. I normally try to map it out so that they aren't as pricey. So I'm maximizing my profit. However, to show you on a video, I spent a little bit extra to save time and have everything available. So we're going to go ahead and I like the aesthetic of the dive ball most time for my water Pokemon. Um, we can always change it after, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in a dive ball. Okay, so now we just wait for this Pokemon to hatch and we will be right back. All right, and our egg is hatching finally. Yay, we got a Squirtle. All right, so let's check it out real quick. All right, it got its naive nature and it's got its three perfect IVs. Plus we got a cute little particle. All right, so I'm gonna be honest. I did not keep track of everything that was spent. I'm really bad about doing that sometimes, but let's go check out on the GTL how much it could possibly be worth. So a lot of times, I'll either keep it and I'll just put it in my box till I'll sell it later or sometimes I will just go ahead and list it 
So we're going to check out its worth real quick and see if I want to breed it some more or if it's good to go and be listed on the GTL. So it'd be great if I could spell. There we go. So ours is female. It has 31 attack, 31 special attack, and speed. And then, yes, it has a particle. So there aren't any. Cool. That's amazing. Okay, so we're just going to do two of those. Okay. So we can see, going from the lowest, we have a female. It has two perfect IVs at 165. I definitely don't want to sell it for that. That is stupidly low, especially compared to what I, I paid to make it. Which we forgot to add that, so water spout. There we go. Alright, so that narrowed it down a little bit, and that's closer to what I'm used to seeing. Um, these are all modest, so that might affect our ability to sell this. But I think I'm going to go ahead and try for... Let's see. Mine's lower. Mine's higher. Mine's lower. Mine's lower. Okay. So, what else does it have? Got dive, hydro pump, water spout. Okay. So make sure it only has one particle. Yeah. Okay. So this one only has one particle. So I would probably price it close to this range since it does have. I would probably price it close to this range since it does have the modest nature and higher IVs. Maybe 350, 350K, maybe. I'm not too sure. And then from there, just pretty much hope it sells. So yeah, that is your crash course in breeding. I hope it was useful. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know and I will answer them in the comments. I'm actually going to go ahead and list this one. I might do, there we go. Yeah, that's, that's pretty close. It's higher than this one because it has better than this one. So we're going to try that. Hopefully it sells. Like I said, if y'all have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. I'm always happy to help, and I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial or this guide, and I hope you have a really, really magnificent day. I am so thankful for all you guys who pop into my stream over on Twitch and on YouTube. I am definitely planning on doing some giving back to you guys as we go into December, and... I hope that you have a fantastic holiday if you celebrate. Thank you so much for tuning in and just being here and supporting my channels. Y'all mean the world to me. I'll catch you next time.